So let's start over here. This is my backpack. I'll leave a link to it in the description box, but there's, it is the Osprey backpack and this little backpack actually attaches to it. So they're attached and they spread out pretty wide. They're pretty big on, I'll attach like a picture or something on, but it's going to fit all of this stuff, which is awesome. So highly recommend. These are like, maybe $200, but they're really worth the investment. I've taken it on every trip I've gone on ever since I gotten it. I got it <laughs> and I don't really use suitcases anymore because you could just carry it and they have all these like straps so your stuff won't get broken into and these straps are really sturdy and it's built um, to not be uncomfortable even though you're going to be carrying like a ton of stuff. So this is everything I'm bringing for four weeks. I'm um, not including toiletries. And this used to be really hard for me to pack, but I've gotten a lot better at um, just packing for this long of a trip because it's all about decision making and deciding like what you really need, what you don't, and you become a lot of a minimalist um, from going on these types of trips. So I have all this stuff right here, but I thought it'd also be helpful to show you guys this I did. I usually don't do this, but I was feeling a bit overwhelmed. So I showed you this in my before video, but it's stuff I have to do before Europe. So this top part is like, things to do and then under the line was things to pack so the circled stuff are things that I still need so I don't forget um, and then clothes like still waiting to dry or still um, getting ready to be packed and then some things I still have left to do so that's helping me stay organized I have also laid out my outfit that I'm gonna wear to the airport and it's just a flowy shirt leggings socks a sweater and I recommend wearing like light flowy things to the airport, especially when you're traveling a lot because plane and having layers because planes can be pretty cold, but you also will want to um, have like layers that you can take off in case of um, getting hot and things like that. So basically I just, I'll take you through a little bit of what I'm bringing. So some of this stuff, like I have my itinerary printed out cause that's always helpful to just look at. Um, I have a journal cause I always journal about my experiences cause you do so many things you kind of just forget after a while. Passport, portable charger, umbrella, portable towel. This is from REI. It's really convenient, especially if you're staying in like a hostel. It's microfiber or whatever, so it absorbs water really quick and it folds up into this little pouch. Hand sanitizer, earplugs, um, gum, Kleenex, this like chafe stick if your shoes are really bothering you. Um, obviously plugs for Europe. Two pairs of headphones, pen, camera case, camera, and I have another memory card under, under there. I usually don't bring my camera, but I think it'll be fun for this one, like I said. Um, mini toothbrush, Tylenol, Afrin, sunglasses, and I'm bringing these one pair of sandals and two pairs of shoes. So I'll wear my boots on the plane, the white ones, and then the gray ones I'm gonna try to bring so I have like a designated shoe to just work out in. And similarly, like to match this, I'm going to have this that I can wear at night and then this tour during the day and have silver jewelry up there to correspond with that. And then this little bag is for laundry, for dirty laundry because it'll kind of contain the smell. I have one like regular sports bra and then two kind of heavier duty I like to say for actual like working out. Um, I have these two tank tops that will just be dedicated to working out and I'll rotate between. And it seems like I may not have a lot, but when you're traveling like this, it's better to have less and just deal with it. And you kind of become a minimalist and it's actually really nice and refreshing. Um, maybe not while you're there, but when you get back, you realize you can live with a lot less. And I'm bringing um, some laundry packets, so I'll be able to do laundry in the sink. Um, and I'm just bringing these four shirts I'll rotate between. I have. I'm going to have four pairs of black leggings and this pair of leggings for working out. I have a sleeping shirt, a pair of denim shorts, a pair of jeans under there. I may not ever wear the jeans, but I still kind of just want to have them just in case. Uh, a ton of socks, underwear, rain jacket, and then I'm going to bring a ton of food. So I have all of these Lara bars, um, Optimum Nutrition Cake Bites, oats and honey granola bars, because I just always like to have snacks with me. And I can bring you guys over here to show you what else I'm going to bring. 
I'm going to bring all of these bars so the RX and the Power Crunch just will be good to have an extra source of protein after I work out um, or just going throughout the day because we will have to pay for a lot of our meals so having just this stuff for free will be good and I may bring those apples and then if we go kind of getting a tour of my apartment right now and then if we go into the bathroom sorry there's a lot of stuff hanging up but I'm gonna bring these shorts for working out in these shorts just to have an extra pair and all this stuff can be used for multiple uses um, one of those pairs of leggings and a couple of those sports bras and then it In this bag, I have a ton of stuff. I really don't want to unpack it, so I'll just tell you what's in here. Um, I have some Purell hand sanitizer wipes, some makeup wipes, a bar of black African soap that I use to wash my face and I'll also use to wash my body, some Mucinex packets, Carmex, mini deodorant. This bag has mouthwash, um, some other soap and something for my face. A couple of tampons. This bag has all the vitamins that I take every day, just kind of packed up. I have sunscreen, extra birth control, two contact solutions in there, um, a few extra pairs of contacts, a lot of medicine and like antibiotics because my parents are doctors, so they just like to have me prepared. Uh, I have a razor down there, a face lotion, a pimple cream. I have some floss, toothpaste, let's see. Oh no, I'm dropping things. And all this makeup I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring cause it's, it would kind of be something I'd like splurge on in terms of room. Um, but sometimes you just really like to feel, you know, pretty. So we'll see about that. But then I also have those little laundry detergent packs I was talking about, shampoo and conditioner, sunscreen. Let's see. That's probably about it, Purell hand sanitizer. And I'm, this is stuff I either still need or I'm debating on bringing. And then I also am gonna bring this antibiotic cream and possibly, like I said, some of that makeup. So I'm gonna bring my water bottle because there's, um, the water is fine in Europe and there's just water bottles everywhere that you would have to buy, like um, like plastic bottles. So I'd much rather just have my own that can fill up. And quickly, just to end, here's how we're looking now. So I'm gonna have this backpack on top of that backpack once again, but I will have this bag that has like snacks and things that I'll need on the plane. I'll have this bag that has more snacks and uh, shoes and stuff that doesn't immediately fit on top of this bag which is just clothes which will go in the big bag so it'll all come together very nicely and I'm pumped hello so hopefully some of that packing um, tutorial I guess was helpful I hope um, it could help you guys when you go on your next travels or things like that and yes you know my appearance is just lovely we can disregard it so hopefully this was helpful. I like I said, I'm so I'm leaving on Friday. Today is Wednesday, May 1st, May 2nd. Um, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> but again, I'm leaving on Friday. There will be videos uploading while I'm gone. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm thinking about a lot of things right now. But like I said, videos will be uploading. Like this video, share it with someone if you know they're traveling for a long time and if I could give any advice, I would love to. If you have any questions, definitely please ask. I travel like this a lot and I really love it and have a lot of advice that I've learned. So I thought it would be helpful to make this video in the first place, but then also just letting you guys know that I have had this experience so it can be helpful for anybody in the future. And maybe I will show you guys how this looks when I'm totally packed, but I will see you guys later on. And I might vlog a little bit at the airport, so that's exciting. Leave in two days. All right. Oh, and an update. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this. It could be before or after the vlogs that are in April, but I'm not really cutting anymore. I realize I do this all the time. I always decide, I always get caught up with a number on the scale, even though I understand that my body is the way it is and I like how I look and all of this type of thing and I appreciate it for what it does and I eat intuitively and I eat healthy and blah, blah, blah. But I always still try to just cut a little bit and then everything goes AWOL. Like I start getting these crazy cravings. I wanna like binge and like I need all this bad food and not bad food, there's no good and bad food, but I need like pizza and ice cream is like I just have never wanted it more than when I say like I'm not gonna eat that right now so I'm not 
cutting anymore but I am thinking when I come back that I'm going to cut without tracking anything so just eating intuitively eating very healthy still occasionally having treats and see kind of how that goes um i learned that method from grace fit uk if you guys follow her she's awesome and she's doing that right now so that'd be a good series to watch but yeah i know it's possible to do without tracking calories and things and doing it a real healthy healthful way even including mental health so again hopefully this was helpful um, and I will probably next see you guys in Europe. So subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content like this video And I'll see you guys next time. Bye